Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about a very widespread problem uh, on the AK rifles and uh, in this case we have a Serbian NPAP uh, uh, AK version but uh, it doesn't matter really if you have Arsenal or if you are lucky and have a Russian AKs uh, it's, it's high probability that you're going to be affected by the same uh, problem at some moment uh, when uh, using a different muzzle devices uh, actually what's happening here, uh, I got the Venom uh, Tactical Antidote uh, muzzle brake and as you can see uh, that muzzle brake wobbles a little bit uh, on the barrel. So of course during the installation I checked everything, you know, if there is a clearance, uh, if there is no obstruction between the barrel and the muzzle brake and it would be safe to use it uh, in, in this uh, you know, configuration. However, you really want to have the best performance then this muzzle brake should be tight uh, to the front post uh, as tight as possible. Unfortunately, uh, in this case, even if I will push the uh, spring loaded pin and continue to ro rotate the muzzle brake, I will be around uh, half turn short from accomplishing this mission. So this is exactly what I'm going to do right now. As you can see, I push the, the, the pin and I'm turning the muzzle brake and it's getting tight and that's it. I run out of the space, I cannot go anymore, I cannot go any deeper and unfortunately my notch is still at the bottom uh, so I'm not even close to getting to the pin position. So the question is how we can solve this? Well there is a very simple solution uh, for this problem. All you're going to need to do is to use uh, some very basic tool, it's a file and uh, probably it would be a good idea to have some Dremel tool and uh, to enlarge the cutout uh, that notch uh, on the muzzle brake before installing the brake. So let me show you what we're going to do first. Uh, disassemble the, the muzzle brake uh, from the rifle. Okay. In some cases it is really a good idea to enlarge that hole uh, which is designed for the spring loaded pin on the front post to make it deeper because then it's easier to uh, you know move your tool and push that pin down and uh, free the muzzle brake uh, from the front post. So you may want to do that. Uh, the best way is to probably use the Dremel tool and kind of you know enlarge that, that hole. In my case I think I'll be okay I don't have to do this. But going back to the original problem what to do now with, uh, with that muzzle brake to make it tighter to sit tighter uh, you know on the end of the barrel. So basically you will take the file uh, put it on the table on a flat surface and uh, start moving the brake like this. Uh, it may take a while till you will get that surface you know filed off a little bit but basically what you want to do you want to create uh, that room that space in our case health turn we need to do this to, to have that ability to tighten that brake up to the to the barrel. Okay guys, uh, it is a good idea to check from time to time how far away you are from, the, uh, from that moment where you think it's going to be good and uh, you don't need to file off uh, anything more. And this is simply because you don't want to take too much material out of that brake because then you are back to the square one and you still have the same problem, you got too much loose and uh, that will be still a wobbling on the rifle. So let me check, uh, I'm not going to lie to you that we edited this out but it took us a good 15 minutes of filing. Let me see where I'm standing right now on this brake. So that part goes very quickly. Adding brake and uh, now it's tightening. Okay, and let me see where we are. Oh, we are perfect. Almost. So we are almost at the half notch right now. So a uh, very little adjustment must be made at this point. So as I said, keep checking from time to time when you're filing to make sure you're not going to, to, to take too much material out of that brake. So let me go back to filing and uh, do some, uh, you know, really surgical uh, adjustments and we'll, we'll be go back, we'll go back to trying it out. Okay, so I think we are on our final adjustment. Let's try it out. My little screwdriver. 
right? And the final moments, rotating, rotating, and pow. That's it, guys. Look how it's sitting right now. Nothing wobbles, perfect fit. That's how we want to have it. So that's it guys, it was a quick tutorial for how to improve the basically uh, performance uh, of your muzzle brake, how to get rid of that annoying problem of uh, wobbling of the muzzle brake on the rifle. And uh, as I said, all you need is this basic file. Just keep checking when you will be getting closer, like in our case it was a half turn behind, but if you will be getting closer, Keep checking all the time to make sure that you're not going to overdo it. Do not overachieve on this. Okay, that's it guys. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, either on any of that video or on our Facebook. Thanks for watching.